this video, we're gonna continue our discussion on operant conditioning by looking at escape and avoidance learning. Escape and avoidance learning is a form of negative reinforcement where the individual is going to perform a behavior in order to stop a negative stimulus. So again, this is reinforcement. So we're increasing or strengthening a behavior. And since this is negative, we are removing something. Now, escape and avoidance learning sound similar, but they are different from each other. In escape learning, you are going to distance yourself from an ongoing stimulus. In this case, there is nothing that is telling you that the stimulus is coming. It has already happened. So for example, you can have a rodent in a two compartment box. So the rodent can move from one compartment to the other compartment. In this case, the rodent is gonna be given a foot shock in whichever compartment it's currently located in. And what it has to learn is that it has to move to the other compartment to terminate the foot shocks. So in this case, it is escaping the negative stimulus. Avoidance learning is when the animal performs a behavior that prevents a forthcoming negative stimulus. So that means the negative stimulus has not been delivered yet. So we'll use a similar case where you have a rodent in a two compartment box. Here, a conditioned stimulus in the form of light is gonna be delivered. So there can be a flash of light. And when there's a flash of light, the rodent must move from its current compartment to the other compartment to avoid the foot shock. So here, the light signal serves as a warning signal. Once that warning signal is delivered, the rodent has to learn that if it doesn't move to the other compartment, it's going to get a foot shock. So again, you can see the difference between escape and avoidance learning. Escape learning is escaping from an ongoing stimulus whereas avoidance learning is performing a behavior to prevent a negative stimulus from occurring.